dumpster or no dumpster game. Lori, how are you this morning? Good, good. Happy spring. Happy I spring. know. I was just thinking, is that some Easter eggs there in front of you? It looks a little springy. Yeah. From the White House, actually. The White House Easter egg roll. Because, you know, that's a big party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of fun. So and Kermit's back because, of course, you know, nothing like spring than finding a frog or two. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter names all the frogs she finds. So I'm glad Kermit already has a name because some of the names <laughs> she comes up with a little crazy. Kind of like some of the items that you do show yeah. us when we play our dumpster or no dumpster. Some of the items, Carly and I have no idea what they may be. That's why we're so lucky to have your expertise. Well, I'm happy to share my expertise and I'm grateful to all of the viewers who send in pictures to your Facebook page. So keep them coming. All right. So here's the deal. If you're just joining us this morning, Natalie, I get put to the test on if an item is uh, worth over $50, we keep it. If it's under, we say, you know what, have its new home in the dumpster. <laughs> right. So item number one, let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, this, I have no I idea. Have no what idea. <laughs> okay. So sits on a tabletop and you see the part where she's open. You notice how she's like a reclining nude and she's reclining so you can see her very, very lovely derriere. Uh -huh. <laughs> she, is, she is quite art deco. So she's very typical of the 1920s. We're experiencing that revival right now. So very art deco. She's a matchbook holder from the art deco. So you'd put your matches right in there oh, and then your matchbook right in there and then you can see the striker is that little square portion on the holder and you'd strike the matches so she's sort of sitting there next to she'd be part of an ashtray set so there's where you say, picture Ooh. her like in a cigar store like yeah wait yeah, a that's second right. that's you right. said part of a set so therefore right. we are missing the other part is that a hint dr Lori? you are missing the ashtray and yes that's a hint <laughs> no set I'm saying nice. dumpster. I know, I know. You said Art Deco was back, though. But that's if we're, true. If we're talking about from the true. 20s. She's made, of, she's made of a cast metal, and then she's patinated like a sculpture would be. She's about this big, not that big, sits on the table, and then the matchbooks can sit right in there, and then you take your match out of the matchbooks, and you strike it right up against her. Some people would strike it across her legs. Whoa. It reminds me of that car commercial right now where the hood ornament sings the songs. You've got the brains. I've got that. That's what I thought that was right there. Just commercials make items more popular. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then in the time period of those hood ornaments, right? The Art Deco. Yeah. I don't know. Now I'm going to make No, this is mind. tough. Is this right on the border? I feel like this is right on the border of like. You see how you guys are making connections? That's what I want you to do. Okay. What Natalie just did, she's making connections to something else that's more familiar to her, and she's bringing it back to this piece. What do you think? Dumpster, no dumpster, Art Deco, um, match striker. I'm going to say dumpster. I'm going to say dumpster. I'm going to still go dumpster, but I'm going to say it's close. Oh that's gosh, it's for seventy-five dollars. Uh, that was close. That's close uh, to We have been on a roll too, by the way. You and you I have been nailing it. I've been telling you about Art Deco, Art Deco, Art Deco, Art Deco. I know. I've been repeating myself like a broken record, and you both go, "Oh, dumpster, come on!" So, you know, I, I knew it. I picked up on that. Just that threw me off. Next okay. one. We have two more items in three minutes. All right. This is a painting. It is oil on canvas. It is, um, it is actually a work that was made in the 1950s, probably painted in Asia for the American market. Hmm. Huh. Who's the artist that huh. painted I'm it? I'm signed right there. Yeah. N-O-S-H-E-A, Noshia. When do you think this dates back to? When was it painted? 1950s, 1960s. Uh, is it a popular artist? Like, should I know? I feel like I. <laughs> no, he's no, he's no Mon, he's no Monet. Yeah. Um, you know. Do you uh, like it? I'm gonna, do you like it? I'd pass. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go the opposite way. I feel like you know, for some reason, I, I don't know. When it comes to paintings, I'm holding on to them. I'm gonna hold on to that one you, too. You like this painting? When you look at that painting, do you like well, it? I don't know if I, if I necessarily like it or not. I okay. just think it could be, uh, in our purposes, uh, over let's look, $50. Let's look at the painting quickly, and let's educate your eyeballs. So look at the okay. painting. Okay. Okay. Do you see this big diagonal line of the fence line? It goes straight down uh -huh. to nowhere. It doesn't fo follow the whole way, so your eye doesn't know where to go. Do you notice that the porch is sort of falling off? It's kind of not That's straight. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't hang it in my yeah. house. I'm not. Okay. It doesn't so, bring me happiness. I'm a firm believer that art should bring you happiness. Okay. So... What do you think? And then you've got a very, very black cloud over this over this yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. What no, do you think, Nat? 
Yes, uh, no? I, I, I'm, I'm not going to hang it. I'm not going to hang it, but okay. I probably would hold on to it. It doesn't take up much to store. Okay. It's a totally, totally a dumpster. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just because it's a painting doesn't mean it's a good painting. Okay. <laughs> that looks a little bit of a Like, who wants that in their house? This is years. This is years of experience. You know, this is being an art critic. That's why I'm an appraiser and other people aren't. No, it's a crappy yeah. painting. Excuse my expression. <laughs> Value on it? About 40 bucks. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm right. somewhat close. I just felt like, yeah, paintings stored away like somewhere. Look at it. Salt and pepper shakers. We all need these, right? <laughs> what are these in the shape of, Dr. Lori? Teepees, Native American teepees. Very oh. popular shape and form in the 1960s. These are ceramic. And of course, the picture's not great, but they're ceramic made in Japan. They're Native American teepees, salt and pepper shakers. Wait a second, Those they're made little. in Japan, but they're Native they're American. Little. They're they're yes, they're made in Japan and they're native and they're for a native in a Native American form for the American market. So the Japanese make it to sell it back to the Americans. I'm thinking dumpster. I don't that's not gonna hold very much salt and pepper. <laughs> There's a lot more salt in our house than what that could hold. Okay, there can I just say, too, I am over for two, so I really feel the pressure today. <laughs> uh, Carly, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue kind of splitting. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's hold on to it. It doesn't take up a lot of room. <laughs> okay, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Not a great example of terrific salt and pepper shakers. They're worth $25 for the set. I don't know. You guys are, I don't know. I think it's spring fever or something with you guys. Hey, I got the last three, right? Day. I got, I was two for three. Okay, I sorry. failed miserably. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But we Terrible have fun. Struggle. We always have fun. We always have fun. That we do. And people can have fun along with you. Of course, your YouTube channel, your website right there. Lori, we always love to see you. Thanks for being with us today. Man, oh, I got to redeem week. myself. I got to redeem myself next week, okay? <laughs> we'll work on it next week. Thanks so much. See you next week.